Our PC counts 10 fans so far. Four of them on the bottom radiator, two of them on the top radiator, one on the exhaust and three on our front panel. Here, let's take our one to four fan splitter and start connecting it to our four bottom fans. On the other end of the splitter, we can see one electrical inlet as well as one PWM plug. That last one will give us an RPM count for every fan once it is connected on the motherboard. And of course, we are going to repeat the very same operation for both the top radiator fans and the front panel fans. Some motherboard manufacturers provide a bridge, such as this one, and it is going to make our life so much easier when it comes to connect the front panel peripherals to the motherboard. Just follow the writings and make sure that you respect the plus and minus signs on each of the connectors and connect the bridge directly onto the motherboard. Alright, so let's go ahead with the front panel audio connector, our front panel USB 2 connectors, our exhaust fan, our front panel fans, our bottom radiator fans, and finally our front panel 3.0 USB connectors. So now that we've done most of the connections and installed the reservoir and finalized the tray positioning in our build, this is a perfect time to install finally our solid state drive. What's particularly cool about those hard disk trays is that they come pre-installed with SATA and electrical connectors. That's going to make our life so much easier. <laughs> 